Braxy here, coming to you live in the middle of Central Africa. Yo, family, look at all my coconut tree, man. Yo, I'm so proud of myself right now. Yo, this is how tall it got within a year. I have uh, planted it on, on July 8th last year. And look at how tall it is, man. I'm so proud of myself. Yo, even if I die right now, and somebody's going to eat my, my coconut from a tree that I have put on the ground. Yo, I'm telling you, man, it's a good feeling, man. Y'all need to come over here. Even if you come on vacation, yo, just put something on the ground so people will feed off of it a couple of years later, man. Like coconut, mango, just put something on the ground. Look at them bananas, man. Banana trees. Those are stuff that I, I have work, man. My sweat, my sweating on those. And people gonna eat stuff that I had, you know, planted, yo. This is a good feeling. This is just stuff that we can't do in America. Like, you will never go to stop and shop and find the food that you had planted. Like food that you have put on the ground. Like it's so hard to do that in America. Like people actually eat like tomatoes. Yeah, like if you live up north or if you live down south. you Yeah, people eat your tomatoes. You know, because those are easy to, easy to harvest and stuff. Tomatoes, peppers and stuff like that. Yeah, those are a little easy to harvest. But over here, man, I'm telling you, man, them coconut trees, yo, those are like forever. Them trees will last like a hundred years, man. Mango tree, those would last like a hundred years. So it's just a good feeling knowing, you know, you're going to feed people for one hundred years. Long before you are dead, like long before you are gone, man. That's 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 just a good feeling. We got our, our cons out here, you know, I, I help put some of it and you know I have planted a lot like I'm telling you man this is gonna feed a lot of people man I was working I had you know I have my little thing right there you know these are my cons these are some of the cons that I had you know I have planted you know it's it's a good feeling I'm telling you man just just come out here like the feeling is off the chain man it's a good feeling I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just doing something, you know, somebody, because I'm not going to, like, I can't eat all of this by myself. It's too much. It's too much. Them, them mango trees that I have planted, you know, them coconut, like that one that you saw right there. I have some more coconut trees that I have planted all over the land. I have, I've got, I've got about, like, 60 coconut trees that I have planted see, ever since I got here. Man, I know those are going to feed people for a hundred years, man. And I'm going to plant some more, man. This is just a good feeling. It's a good feeling. And, and, and check this out. You see this little spot right here, man? I'm, I'm, yo, I'm, we're going to work some, some, a pan right here. And the pan, once we, once we build it, yo, it's going to last forever too, man. It's, it's good feeling, man. It's good feeling. It's good feeling, man. All these piece of woods that you see here we're gonna clear them out man we're gonna clear them out we got our chainsaw we got a couple of chainsaw man we're gonna chop them you know pick them up do some artwork some of them we're gonna burn you know to cook and stuff like that and you know i'm telling you man it's a good feeling it's a good feeling and all these woods right here we're gonna clear them out you know here are my cones you see my corn all over the place man i have planted some cones I'm telling you man it's, it's good feeling it's good feeling. I had some. I had uh, one of one of my subscriber man. One of my subscriber had asked me why why was I building a chicken coop like a lot of chicken coop for like I should uh, be living like uh, like bush people you know just chasing after bush meat and stuff you know chasing after my food and and, and to that subscriber man thank you for the input man but I don't know how to chase after my food. Uh, I don't know why you would tell me not to build chicken coop and just chase after my food. Like, I can't do that. I don't even know how to chase after food. You know, I know I'm in the middle of the jungles and there's food everywhere, but you got to chase after it. 
You gotta chase after it before you catch it and eat it. And I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I mean, with that little thing, thing, you know, you could just, you know, hide somewhere, wait for it to show up, and, you know, take one shot, two shot, you know, and you could eat it. But I don't have time for that. You know, I don't have time for that. That's why, you know, that's why I'm building my chicken coop, you know. So when I'm hungry, I could just grab it and eat it. I mean, cook it and eat it, obviously. But to be chasing after my food all the time, you know. I don't got time for that, you know. I hear what you're saying, like, I hear what you're saying. You said that um, building a chicken coop in the middle of the jungle, that's westernized. I hear you, man. I hear you. But I could tell you something, though. Uh, what they say here, they say nothing is new under the sun. Like, everything that you see under the sun has already been here for millions and millions of years. For thousands and thousands of years. And since we are the first people on earth, we are the first one, we are the one who invented chicken coop. So, I don't think you should let on, I don't think you should forget that we are the first people on earth, on the planet. And since we are the first people on the planet, the idea of having chicken coop came from us. They copy everything from us, right? They never invented anything. Everything they know, they copy from us. So if if chicken coop are in existence, that's because we are the one who started that concept. So don't let them don't let them lie to you. Now I hear what you're saying. You know, I hear what you're saying. There's some people living in the jungle, and they got big feet. You know, they got strong feet. They could chase after their dinner and stuff. But I don't got time for that. I got a little brain. You no, know, my brain, you know, my brain works. You no, know, I'm not going to be chasing after my food, man. I'm not that stupid. So, yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. I hear your point. I, I, yo, I heard what you said, man. I heard it. I heard it. But I just think I'm, I'm, I'm too smart for that. I'm too smart for that. I'm not going to be chasing after my dinner, man. Mm-mm. I'm going to have my dinner right there. I'm going to grow my dinner. And when my dinner is, 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 is big enough or it's old enough, I'm going to have it on the plate. That's right. That's right. So I'm going to have my pan right here. We're going to clear this up. All this stuff up, man. We're going to clear it all up. We're going to clear it. And then we're going to have us a, a wall. You know, because it's like three slopes coming down. And then there's... It's that little, that, it's, there's a gap. So that in that gap, we have to build a wall. So it's going to be like a dam. Like, a, like, like the wall is going to look like the, you know, we're going to have also a wall and then the wall is going to rise up. So once we have that wall, first of all, we got to clear this, all this piece of wood, with, with all this junk, we got to clear it all up. Got to clear it up. And then when we're done, you know, we're going to start building the wall. And that wall is going to be big. It's going to be rocks, dirt, everything. Everything is going to be on, on, on the wall. And once the wall is built, the water is going to rise up. And that's going to give us a pond. And when that's done, you know, it's time to go after, go look for fish and stuff. Buy some little small fish and stuff like that. And come in here and come back to the land and throw it in our pond. Once that's done... Then we will have fish. So I could have my people, man. I'm going to have you all come to the land, you know. Come to visit for, for a month, for two, for two weeks, for one week. You know, y'all just going to come over here. It's going to be you and nature. It's going to be, it ain't going to be no cars. It ain't going to be, yeah, there's going to be a car to drop people off. But that's it. You're not going to be sitting by the window and, you know, there's no, there, there ain't gonna be cars, there ain't gonna be airplanes, there ain't gonna be, uh, what else, what else, what else is annoying in the cities? Um, it ain't gonna be no police, no, none of that, man. It's just gonna be us and nature, it's just us and nature, man. So, 
like I said, in two years, uh, this, this, this subscriber had told me that I needed to have some tent, some, you know, just build like, you know, them, like, like, like them, like them people living in villages and stuff. Like he wants me to build, like to make it like Africanized and stuff. I'm like, nah, mm -mm. I'm not going to make it like that. Like no, nobody wants to come in the jungle to live like you know I'm not gonna say bush people but people don't want to live like Tarzan when they come here and I don't want people to live like Tarzan when they come here that's why we're gonna have ball walls so people could shower people will be showering inside indoors I know you want people to be you know showering outside you know because we have rivers we have stream and you want our guests when they get here to go shower in the in, in the rivers in stream or water nah it's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen i mean if they if they want to shower in the in, in, in if they want to swim in those rivers that's gonna be by choice but we are gonna have ball wool we're gonna have a ball holes and we're gonna have we, we will have tanks so people will shower inside they will shower indoors now we home we're gonna have all them tiny tiny houses and in those tiny houses, there, there's gonna be a bathroom a, a, a kitchen i don't think i don't really think we need a kitchen i think we will need we will have like one big kitchen where people could barbecue people like everybody could cook but it's gonna be one kitchen one big kitchen where 10 people could be cooking at the same time because we're thinking about having a community where we all cook at, like like i said the kitchen is, is gonna be one big kitchen where everybody could come it could be 10 people in there cooking at the same time but my 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 my, my, my thing is i want to have a, a, a one bedroom with 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 the bathroom in it right you know a shower so that's what I want I want people to get here and be comfortable you know I don't want people be I don't want people to, to 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 be outside and to shower outside I want people to shower indoors so they could you know hide itself you know some people are uncomfortable being naked outside as of now that's how we do it like i'm a little uncomfortable because you know right over there in america we got that messed up culture you know that got people a little confused i know it, it's over here they don't have it like so over here people showering you know swimming in a pool naked is like it's no big deal because they don't have that culture like they don't they, they are not confused basically people are like men are not confused so you could have men in a pool swimming naked or in a river swim, swimming naked because they, they are not confused they are not confused but in america it's gonna be looked at it's gonna it's not gonna be people are not comfortable in america being naked near uh, near other people like i'm not comfortable you know showering you know naked in front of other dudes and stuff like i'm not comfortable doing that just because that's because i grew up in a culture that where it's people are confused so you being naked next to another man might be might be translated not the same way that you being naked next to a man in africa will be because being naked next to a man in Africa is different than being naked next to a man in America. It's different. It's different. Out here in Africa, you could be naked next to a man and that's no big deal because they are not confused. They are not confused over here. A man knows he got to chase after a woman. And a, a woman knows she got to go. She got to wait for a man to come in. So they are not confused. It don't matter. You could you could go in, in a you could go out a river 
and you know find a bunch of men you know swimming naked but you know that doesn't you know alarm anybody uh, nobody's like bothered like nobody's confused but that's what I'm saying like when I build when this, when the village goes up we need some ball holes we need some water tanks because the people that I want to come visit they most of them are not comfortable being naked in front of other people the women don't want to be naked next to other women and the men definitely don't want to be naked next to other men you know that's why and, and like I said my my the little village my village that I'm building is for the diaspora to come you know once you get stressed out over there you need to come over here and relax you know you need to come over here and get all that stressed out you need to come over here and chill you know have a good time just be you and nature it's gonna be like the whole world is is shut down and it's only us and that's the concept behind all that's the concept be behind this whole thing is this is, is, is an, an escape and it's and, and this is for escapism you know I want my people to be able to escape I mean this is something that we should have done a long time ago but like they say it is it is never too late it's never too late we might be we might be late to the party but no party gets started until we get involved but um i mean we're doing it we're doing it we are now on our motherland and we are promoting our motherland the right way the way it was supposed to be the way it, it was meant to be like because for a long time we allowed other other people telling us how our motherland was you know and we we never ever thought it was wrong for them to tell us how our motherland was but thank God like they say it is never too late and today we are here some of us are here some of us are in the Gambia some of us we are all over and we are promoting our motherland the way it is supposed to be and we are doing a good job man I could tell you that we are doing a good job and these people like these people are feeling the heat because they don't want us doing what we are doing so it's never too late man we we might have been late to the party but the party don't start until we get it we and the party never start until the black man gets involved so we here man we here we here so we're doing our thing we're promoting the motherland and we're doing it in a good way you know a lot of people are learning you know we are showing people we are inspiring a lot of people a lot of those of our some of our people who had doubt now they are finding out that there's a safe heaven for us you know they didn't know it you know a lot of still like a lot of our people are, are lost like i'm not gonna lie a lot of people a lot of our people think their salvation is from europe or asia or south america a lot of them haven't like opened their eyes to know that uh our salvation is right here on the motherland there's no other there is no other place on earth that would nurture us like our motherland so like I said it's never too late we here we are promoting 
our home like it was meant to be, like it's supposed to be. And we are not allowing other people to tell us how our motherland is. Now we are telling our people how our motherland is. And in two years time, I'm going to have you come on my land. I'm going to have you have fun, have a good time. If you are depressed, if you, go, if you are going through some stuff, I'm going to have you come here for two weeks, for three weeks, you know, have a good time and then go back. Or if you decide, if you want to stay, then we're going to, you know, try to help you, help you out so you could stay or whatever, you know. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, y'all just wish me good luck. And please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Peace.